But one African tradition that is really kind of hurts the growth of the church, and this is something that's big, is many of the Africans, for, for, for it's to get married, Africans need to pay, do something called labola. Labola is like a dowry. It's like a bride price. Think of like Johnny Lingo. Like Johnny, like if you remember the uh, movie Johnny Lingo, like he he buys his wife with eight cows um, from the from the from her father. So in Africa, they still really have that belief, and that's huge. That's something that like that many of the members there will not let go, uh, and many of the young people there will not let go that. If you, in order to get married, you, like the African man needs to, to pay the, the bride's father a, like a, a, a good amount of money. Now, this is like, like, there's nothing wrong with this on the surface, okay? Like, it's, it's, a, it's a part of their tradition. Uh, it's been practiced for years. It makes sense because, you know, it's a way for a man to like show that he can take care of this man's daughter. So... So on the surface, it, 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 it's fine, but, but when you peel it back, you realize it's a huge problem because it's been corrupted by many families. Many families, they charge exorbitant amounts, because remember, this is Africa. Many of the men there are unemployed, and the ones who are employed, they barely make enough to survive. So they don't have like a lot of savings. So usually, they want, the families want this like lump sum of money, and the money is, in theory, used to pay for the wedding ceremony. But in reality, it's many of the families, they eat the money. They just, they kind of spend it on themselves. And so it's, a, it's, it's been abused by people. This is a problem because you can't get married uh, until you have this ceremony done. Like obviously, and we would tell people like, you know, you could go to the local county courthouse and pay like 50 rands and uh, get a married, you'd be married. Um, and of course the temple is free to get married, but many of them are like, you know, they won't be considered married by their, by their people and culture until they pay this labola. So it's really hard, and many of the members, they won't let that go. They're like, you know, you need to pay labola to get married. This is a problem because Africans, uh, many of the people there live with somebody, like live like out of wedlock because they can't afford to marry this person. Uh, like promiscuity is a big problem, and it's a problem everywhere but it's a big problem in Africa. One thing that you'll notice is, if you're a white missionary, when you go into the townships, you'll walk down the street in the townships, and out of nowhere, like 20 little black kids, like like just little kids will run up to you and they'll go like, Malungu, Malungu, which is white man in Zulu, or in African, I don't know which language, but it's like white man, like Malungu, Malungu, shop, shop, and they kind of hold up their little thumbs, and you would kind of like thumb them. It's kind of like a nice greeting. Uh, but I always thought to myself, like, I wonder how many of these children are born in wedlock. Because a lot of the African women there, they realize that, like, obviously, I don't want to perpetuate stereotypes, but African men have a stereotype of being very promiscuous, being very um, uh, unfaithful to their spouses, cheating is a big problem, being lazy, being... Um, unintelligent, uh, you know, alcoholics, things like that. And those are all stereotypes. Many of those are really racist stereotypes. They have those basis in racism. But you will notice that there aren't, like, I don't know, there's a shortage of good men, I guess. That's the only way to say it. And, there's, you know, you could say that anywhere in the world, but in Africa, it's, it's really sad because... In many places in the in the townships, the, the family has broken down completely, the nuclear family. Um, many of the women there, they, they want children. Like, that's a big thing. In African culture, having children is huge. So the women there, they want children, but they realize that getting a husband is both, you know, expensive because of Lobola and also just finding a man who's faithful to them, who's employed, who doesn't just spend all day drinking beer, that's hard to find. So many of the women just have children out of wedlock and uh, and they take care of them. It's, it's just hard. Um, like there's still that traditional, like they, the women there are very traditional. Like they, you know, they, they want to cook and clean and take care of the home and things like that. But they, 
they want a husband there to help them and they it's hard for them to find it just because of cultural reasons and economic reasons it's just hard for many blacks to get jobs 